we have used so much electricity? Chat! What? Chat! Have you seen his electric bill? Yeah, that's messed up. It's way too high. Give me that. I was using that. You were saying? That's their mistake. That's way too high. Yeah, well, I think something's up. I think we need a scientist. And toilet paper. Pick some up while you're out. City Science with Mike Davis. Hi. Hi. I was wondering if you can help me I'll out with... I'll be with you in um, just a second. Oh, okay. What are you doing? I'm grading. Oh, is that an F stamp? What can I uh, help you with? Oh, my electric bill. Yeah? Mine came too, $15. Can you believe that? Yeah, I like to believe in that, mm -hmm. but look at that. Whoa, we need to talk. This bill is so high. I mean, why does it cost so much to produce electricity? Well, it takes a lot of work to make electricity. For example, see this light bulb? Yeah. Well, it's not lit up because there's no electricity going through it. So let's screw it in here. And that will get at the price. This is going to get at the work portion of things. We'll get the price in a little bit. Okay, so what do I do? Uh, turn that crank, go slowly at first, and then speed up. Okay, slowly. Mm -hmm. ah. And then speed up. Mm -hmm. Oh, cool. I yeah. see. So what am I doing with this stuff? You're generating electricity. And I can show you how, which is the important part. So let me put them up here. Okay. All I see is some wires and a magnet. That's right. And this wire coil is hooked up to a meter. And this is all set up to be a little generator. Generator, okay. Well, it was observed a long time ago that if a person moved a magnet through a wire coil, you can actually generate some electric current. So, watch what happens. Okay. I'm going to take this and move it through here. See how the needle deflects a little? Oh, I see. Yeah. So, a moving magnet creates a current? Yes. Okay, what's a current? A current is actually a measure of the number of electrons moving through a wire. I know volts. Voltage, yeah. A voltage, high danger. Danger, high voltage. Danger, high voltage, yes. yes. How is that different? Well, voltage is related to current, but a little bit different. You see, voltage is the amount of force it takes to keep those electrons moving around. If this is all it takes to light up a light bulb, mm -hmm. why is electricity so expensive? I mean, I could do this all day. Oh, really? I'd like to put that to the test. <laughs> Your voice changed. I'm a little freaked out now. Should I be? Nah, you look like you're in great shape. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> what are oh. all these bikes for? Oh, well, let's see. Hi, Lee. Mike, how are you? I'm good. Hi, Lee. Rosa. Rosa, hi, how are you? Lee, let's see what these bikes are set up for. It's Working Bikes Cooperative collects uh, used bikes mm -hmm. uh, in Chicago, Iowa, Wisconsin. And we do roughly 7,000, 6,000 a year. We send them to developing countries. So we have partners in each of those countries, and they uh, give away bikes. They have earn a bike programs. Okay. They convert bikes into these uh, these machines. And that's just a marvelous idea. Yeah. What we have here is an exercise bike, which will generate power to run either a sewing machine or uh, a grinder. Can I try it? Oh, please. Would you please? Yes. You said you can generate some of your own power. I think this is a good chance. I want to try it. I want to see. She's sitting on the bike. She's going to be the power source. This is a permanent magnet direct current motor. Okay. But when you run a motor in reverse, it becomes a generator. Ah. Okay. We're producing the power that's going to run this, uh, okay. gener uh, this uh, grinder. Okay. It's a hand grinder. And then right. we're going to do the sewing machine. This Ready? is, okay. is going to be yeah. all you. So Let's I'm going to go over He's here. He's going to cut so some metal. You're the power. So I'm, why don't you I'm get started? Prepared. How's it feel? Okay, now I'm Natural. Gonna, now okay, I'm pretty easy. Turn on the motor. Well, oh. A little faster now. Did I change that, huh? Oh, cool. Woo. How you feel? It's hard. Yeah. A little more. A little more, and we're gonna be able to break this thing. Keep going. You can cut it. You got it. We're almost there. Oh. Uh, keep going. Keep going. You got it. <laughs> 
Woo! I'm going to cheat on the, the rest of it. Ta -da! Uh, you provided the power to cut some of that steel. Yeah, we had a little notch in there to begin with, but uh, ah. she cut about a half inch. You got a half is, inch of steel there. This is solid. This is bed frame. This is oh, stiff. Wow. This is really hard stuff. This was really hard stuff. <laughs> <laughs> How much wattage is a single rider producing? Comfortably, uh, Rosa can do like 60 watts. Sewing. We could also do sewing with a setup like this. Let's try the sewing energy. I guess I don't need these anymore. No, I don't need safety glasses for sewing. <laughs> okay, okay, so okay. The, light oh, the light's on. on. All right. We have ignition. This is not that bad. This isn't so bad, you can sew this way? I could sew. All right. Well, this is pretty amazing. You can actually provide power for your immediate needs. When we're talking about watts, that's just the unit of power, the amount of current generated a certain amount of time. Uh, voltage times yeah. current, yes. OK, so we have that. Our electric bills, they come in like kilowatt hours, right? right? So that would mean that if Rosa was to do a watt hour, she's riding at that speed for an hour. If she were doing 100 watts for an hour, she will have done one-tenth of a kilowatt hour. Wow. If it takes about 10,000 kilowatt hours to run the average home, I think for a year, we're talking about a small army of riders. You would probably think twice about conservation. Yeah, absolutely. And that one, what is that one? Oh, this one is, uh, this is what the people want. They want uh, <laughs> to be able one. to uh, watch television and oh. uh, educational television, of course. Yes. Can right. I try this one? Our show. Yes, I'm please. already on it. Try this one. Yeah, have a seat, Rosa. <laughs> okay. Relax. Take a load off. Watch pumped. some TV. I'm already pumped. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So get her, get her moving there. At least you're powering a battery and an inverter. Now you can relax with it. Okay. Oh, good. There we go. Oh, good. TV. I can do this. Okay. Watch TV and do exercise. This is a more of a 12 volt system. Okay. So what you're doing is you're charging a battery, and uh, there's a relay in there that detects that you're actually sitting there and, and working, right? Okay. So that turns on the TV and the inverter. The inverter makes it uh, alternating current, which the TV wants. So this is all high definition ready, because you okay. can put your high definition TV in here. <laughs> Rosa can do like 60 watts. 60 she watts. Could do, she was doing 60 watts. She was powering the television, which says 55 watts on it. And wow. the inverter is another 5 watts. So if we have you know, higher wattage things, uh, larger TV, more, more incandescent bulbs as opposed to compact fluorescents, more riders, if we're, if we're to imagine uh, doing it that way. And then, but if we start subbing out compact uh, incandescents for compact fluorescents, maybe unplugging some things when they're not in use, conserving, we let some riders off the hook. Yep. Just, I'm just trying to imagine things that way. That's amazing to actually think about how many people it would take to power the average person's home. This is a, uh, a grain mill. OK. Oh, grinding, flour. Oh, OK. So you put your, uh, you put your, your grain into the, the, the hopper, mm -hmm. and you pedal, and it grinds. Uh, this I you can do. run it through several times if you're trying to get a finer grain, or you can tighten the uh, stones. This, this I could do. This I could do. This one here is connected to the uh, vanity light. Uh, this? Five compact fluorescents. Okay. So oh, we did one in the lab. Let's we did one. Five. You did one with your hands. I'll so try five. Rose, five 11 five. watt light bulbs. So that's 55 watts. 55 last watts. Time I Can you generate 55 watts? <laughs> Let's that's do it. this. Ready? Go. Oh. All right. So that's. Yeah, no problem. It's like the TV set oh, was 55 okay. watts, right? Okay. Yeah. So what is this one set up for? Okay, this one, uh, you got to follow the cable. I think it's connected to the LED street lamp, but uh, this guy? it's easier to just get on and see what happens. Okay. Yeah. Ready? Pedal hard. Set, go. Good and hard. A little more. There we go. Oh, oh there it is. wow. Cool. That's nice and good. All right, a little more still. More? Keep going. More, more, more. Okay, and then in, in here we got the uh, ultraviolet water sterilizer. So that's what this a, is? Yeah. So we have an ultraviolet lamp. Uh huh. And uh, LED street lamp. Both from the at the same Department time. Of energy. Now, okay. the water sterilizer, what would you do with this? Well, you're living in an uh, area where you can't trust the, the, the water looks good. It's maybe rainwater. Mm -hmm. And uh, okay. you put it in the, the UV yeah. water sterilizer, and it kills, it kills everything. These are incredibly useful devices. I mean, we're surrounded by hundreds of them. How many do you have in this shop? Here we probably have three, four hundred bicycles. We have drop-off locations all around the Chicagoland and Iowa and Wisconsin. You can find that uh, information on our, our webpage, which is workingbikes.org. 